Hello everybody, I'm Diane, welcome and thank you for, for tuning in, for joining me. This is my channel Frog and Fudge where I share my hobbies and today is about cross stitch. Um, thank you to everybody who subscribed and stays subscribed. I did see from the, um, the analytics that I lost a few subscribers again. Fair enough, you do what suits you. And if you've ever sent me a message, especially the last um, videos, uh, people have sent messages and I haven't replied, but I, I do read them and I do very much appreciate them. I find all the comments uplifting. Now, it's been a while since my uh, last FlossTube video. Today is already Saturday the 15th of July. Um, I blinked and missed June. And um, yeah, I don't have a lot of stitching. And I know in the past I would have said life got in the way, but I'm trying to get away from negative ideas like that and just think I did other things instead. And that's okay. But let's look at some cross stitch. There's going to be a lot of noise because I'm, as usual, disorganized. Uh, last time I showed you Night Fairy and I finished it. And I don't think I showed you Day Fairy, but um, maybe I did, I can't remember. Day Fairy, uh, designed and I think charted by Maria von Scharenberg, and this was a kit produced by Lenart. Um, the kits can still be found occasionally second hand, um, but you can get the chart for both the day and the night. Published by, I think, Leisure Arts and available on Amazon. Please do join us. We still have a hashtag. Uh, Sunday Fairy Cell. And of course, you don't have to stitch on a Sunday. Just stitch on a fairy. And this is what I've got done. I am convinced that there are more stitches in this than the night. Yeah, it just fell on the floor. More stitches in the, this day fairy than the night fairy and I've got the top uh, right corner done now. I'm pretty sure there were more blues in this than, by the, than with the night fairy and as you can see I've just started her wing. This is stitched on. It's a lovely fabric, feels really nice. I think it's a 27 count even weave. Anyway we're stitching with two over one or one no, two over two or one over two, depending on what the pattern calls for. Next up is something I'm stitching for my daughter. This is um, Sleeping Princess. It's a Mirabilia Designs chart. Um, design charted by Nora Corbett, distributed by Witchelt. And I only got a little bit extra done on this and every time I pull it out I think why am I not stitching more on this? It's gorgeous, it's lovely. I enjoy the colours. Obviously there's a big arch that'll go around the top but that's in Krynek or something. I'll do that later. There she is and the bit that I got done is this bit here. Not much but every stitch counts. And this is a 28 count white or antique white, perhaps, even weave. Yeah, my, my daughter just wanted a plain white background. She thought there were enough colours in it. <laughs> and there are indeed quite a lot of colours. Yeah. The other thing I stitched on, I only stitched on three things since I last saw you, was um, a call... The, the, what, Sunset Garden Gate. This was called for on Whitgo for June. This was number four for me. The other call for June was um, number 16 and that was Espresso, which is a Taya Governor kit and I didn't stitch on that yet. Sorry, you want to see the stitching, don't you? When you last saw it, I had... I don't know, half a dozen little green stitches here. So I've put in all this grey and some purple flowers. Yeah, this is stitched on 14 count wide Ada that came with it. 
I bought this, no, I, yeah, I bought this second hand. I bought a box of random stitchy stuff and this was in there. And um, yeah, it's stitched with full crosses, half crosses and with one, two or three strands. I'm going to simplify that. I think most of it's just going to be crosses with two or one strand and occasionally a half cross with one strand if I just want to do sort of hazy bit of sky. So that was the stitching I got done. What else? Yeah, giveaways. Last time I uh, showed this, it's quite heavy, bag, there we go, see how thick it is, of Christmas charts. This is going to Deborah, or Deborah, not sure how you pronounce your name. Please let me have your address. And I have this Chinese chart. Was it happiness, love, and good fortune? And this is going to Vivia. Obviously, I butchered your name. Sorry about that. Yeah, if you two could let me have your addresses, contact me personally, either through Instagram is best, then I can check that it's really you, or by email. Sorry, I just knocked you, didn't I? I am clumsy. The Winnie the Pooh chart is still available. It's a really simple chart with quite a bit of stitching. There's quite a lot of stitches in there. Anybody wants it, it's yours. Now, quick go for July. We had 9, 13 and 21. Nine for me, try out a new bag. Well, I make project bags. I enjoy sewing project bags. So yeah, I'm happy to try that out. Uh, number 21, you see, nope. hair, nails and pedicure, or pedicure. I've got an appointment next Friday for my hair and as you can see it's getting really, really yellow. Yeah, it needs, it needs attention. And 13, I'm really excited about. Change one of the, um, one of the challenges and get something framed. Well, the first thing I'm going to change is number 13. It's change all of the challenges that I want to change. <laughs> and get something framed. So all of these challenges that um, say three days or five days or get to 90%, I'm just gonna change to stitch to one day so I can get my things colored in and get something framed. Yeah, I'd like your help with that. I've got my box of, um, yeah, is it box of shame? All the things you made and then hid away. So I've got this one, you've seen it. But I'm not going to frame that yet, obviously. I'm going to wait till I've got day finished and get them framed together. But if you can bear with me, I would really like everybody's opinion on which one I should choose to frame. I have... Which way out? Oh, that way out. There we go. Oh, that's looking quite washed out. It's quite a pretty spring green linen. 28 or 32 count, I'm not sure. And the chart... I stitched it in hand and as you can see it's a little twisted excuse me I just need to dismiss a reminder there um, it was an intermezzo chart and I stitched it with I think it was a Threadworks variegated floss in they are spring colors it's looking a little orangey but it isn't so that's one spring thing this is stitched on, he's a cute bunny, a 14 count Ada that came in the kit. I think it was a, something like Ami, Friends, I don't know. I'm pretty sure the kit originally came from AliExpress. I bought it second hand and I've seen something in this kind of style or maybe exactly the same that's been charted by Satsuma Street. So I think this was a rip off, unfortunately, if I frame this, yeah, I'll be doing that myself. I won't pay for framing. Oh, that's a cute little finish. It's, it's it's lopsided in the frame that came with it. That was a mini kit. They were produced by DMC to showcase their um, variegated threads. And someone gifted me this when I purchased something else from them. This one. This was Ink Circles. Reflections on a Grecian urn. I hand dyed the fabric myself. 
<laughs> I had a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Find it? No? Yeah. I like it. This I'm def definitely not framing this. I bought it as a kit on oh words today words today AliExpress and I substituted my own hand dyed fabric which I called dirty old floor cloth I never finished the sampler it was badly charted and when it came it had the name Jeanette Douglas right across the chart so clearly that was a rip off sorry Jeanette Douglas oh here we go this is stitched on 14 count pale green Ada by Zweigart using DMCs. This is a, a kit from All Graphics. I love their work. They're well thought out. They put detail in the chart where you need the detail and for the rest where your eyes would normally skim over, they just make it easy to stitch. Almost never any black back stitching or half stitches or anything else. Just cross stitching. I really like my blue frog. Um, that's another one from All Graphics. Again, so I got Ada. This was uh, an AliExpress kit that I got. This was a printed chart and it was heavily printed with a lot of dye. And I did wonder if it, it was a triad. I did wonder if it would ever wash out and it did. The instruction said to soak it, you know, for like 20 minutes to get the dye out. And they were right. You don't need to scrub or you soak, you just soak for a long time and the dye lifted off. And there was so much red across here with the name. Red's a terrible colour. I'm so pleased that washed out and I really like that, but I don't think I'll stick. I'll frame him. This one I really liked. This is Tree Frog and I think it was a Dimensions kit. Stitched on 14 count Black Ada. I really like him. The original design came down much lower and I decided to crop it. I thought I'd cropped it so that it had the dimensions of a standard photo frame, but that doesn't look standard to me. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could yeah, frame it myself cheaply, <laughs> but those dimensions don't look right for a standard frame to me. Anyway, that's my tree frog. Then I have, what was this? Patchwork Owl Chouette, Chouette. Uh, Owl's Patchwork. This was a Jardin Privé, which I stitched on my own sort of beigey brown 14 count Ada. And the flosses I used were from my leftovers box or my unnumbered box. It was just a stitch from Stash. I think I changed some of the pictures around as well. Ooh. This one, which way up? That way, no. There we go. I really enjoyed stitching on this. This was a, I think, a Riolas kit, and it's stitched on a 14 count A Crew Ada. I think if I'd framed that, I wouldn't have any fabric around the edge. I'd just frame it right up to the rows. I quite like that. Oh, this one was also gifted me. I think this was a Vivaco chart, a kit. Oops, it's a podcast. And um, yeah, I bought something secondhand from her and she included this, very kind of her. The swirls that you see here were originally this sort of mixture of beiges and browns. And when I saw a red dress, I thought Christmas. So I changed all the sw swirls to greens and I changed the Paris that was at the bottom. I recharted that to say Christmas. There you go. But I don't think it's worthy of paying for framing and I won't get a standard frame that, that size. I think that's a no. This one, last but not least. I think I finished this about 2019, 2020. But this was a Perman chart. I bought it second hand, so I'm not sure if this was the original Ada. I think it's an 18 count Ada. Um, very soft Ada. Oops, everything just fell on the floor. <laughs> oh, dilemma. I'd really like to get him framed, but um, Perman have four other kits 
I think it's four other kits of birds in the same kind of style. And I've got them. And I think, should I maybe stitch one or two more and then get them framed together? Or should I just not wait and get them framed? I changed this a little bit. Through the uh, trees here, you could see a sort of skyline um, of a city, grey city in the background. I didn't like that. <laughs> I just like the woodland scene. And this little blob of colour is supposed to be a bird flying. So, yeah, that's it. It's not really an awful lot in my box of shame. Um, what do you think? What should I get um, framed or frame myself? Last but not least, giveaway. Uh, 28th of July is Beatrix Potter's birthday. And uh, I like Beatrix Potter. I bought this one, I don't know. It's a chart by Anchor. Yeah, it's crunchy. My Ada, sorry, I replaced that probably. And I must have liked it because I bought it a second time. Yeah, so I'm going to give one of these away. It's Mr. Fox and Jemima Puggy Buck. And I'm going to include a project bag that I've made. And you've got uh, Peter Rabbit and Squirrel Nutkin. And there's the back. So, please leave a sentence with Beatrix Potter in it below. Tell me that you like her, you love her, if you've ever stitched on her, read books to your children by her. If you remember her from your childhood, tell me something <laughs> about Beatrix Potter and I will enter you in the draw. The last thing, which I always forget to do, is I have a list of international days and I keep forgetting to look at it and use it as a prompt just missed World Chocolate Day so 28th of July is Beatrix Potter's birthday 29th of July is International Tiger Day you know just if you needed some flimsy excuse to stitch something else 30th of July is International Friendship Day that's a good one for stitching anything and then going through August, because heaven knows when I'm going to do another floss tube. 8th of August is International Cat Day. The 11th of August, very important to our, to our stitchers, is World Cross Stitch Day. It's also World Elephant Day. 13th of August is International Wolf Day. Perhaps that's something for you, Jemima, because I know you like wolves. 26th of August is World Dog Day. I like dogs. And the 31st of August, this is a fun one, International Day for People of African Descent. Yeah. And why is that one important? Well, we did DNA testing of my parents. And my mom is like 4 or 5% African. Who knew? She's blonde, green-eyed, looks like a Swede, but she's actually of African descent. Lovely. <laughs> um... If you stuck this far with me, thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave comments below. They really help me. And um, a little bit about the other things I've been doing. My parents are not doing very well. They've reached the stage of their life where they need help. And several times last year, I got called up, kind of. We don't understand this letter. It's worrying. So I would literally say work to work, okay, in three weeks I'm going to England, in two weeks I'm going to England. And I walked out of work at least four times last year. I've walked out of work now, only twice so far this year, but I'm going back to England again next next month. Finally, they've agreed to having a, a carer come in every day who can explain things that they don't understand and put their mind at rest. That's taken up a lot of time. Because every time I go, it's not for a couple of days. We live in different countries. Every time I go, it's always a week or two weeks. Um, yeah, it's quite worrying. The other thing that has been occupying my time has been making project bags. Because in September, I'm going to a retreat in Appledore. Twin Peak Primitives, that's Nurse and a Nerd and Camber, are organising the Dutch Mania 2023 
stitching retreat and I'm going, lovely. And then they asked me if I would bring project bags to put in their show. Yeah, obviously um, I was kind of overwhelmed <laughs> when they first asked. It's a huge honour, but also um, a bit of a responsibility. I can't turn up with just half a dozen bags because that would look really pathetic. So I've been busily trying to make some more bags to take, to put in their show. And I hope they're going to be well received and I don't fall flat on my face and look like an idiot. But, you know, that's okay if that happens. <laughs> yeah. Tell me what you think I should frame. Yeah, I'm going to end this now. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Comment below, please. Bye-bye. <laughs>